Good morning. Good morning. It's early. Um, today we're going to go to Houston to work on the studio. So if you oh, haven't watched right. the first video about the studio, go back and watch that. I'll link it right somewhere, somewhere. up there. Um, but yeah, can't wait to bring you along. All right, so this is an audio test for how we have the room set up now. We don't have any sound panels in here. So. Oh, that like hurts my ears. Yeah, it's definitely got that like pang at the end of it. It's pretty rough. So we have some sound panels and we just have to get them put together and thrown up on the walls. And through the magic of video editing, and now we're gonna hear what it sounds like after we do the sound treatment. And this is post sound treatment. Our goal with this studio is to have a really cool place to work and film. And not really just film, but like we want to do all content in this room and have it be an amazing space. We want to do podcasts eventually, interviews, we want to have guests, and we want a perfect space where on first impression, people who have never seen our stuff before get what we're about and kind of understand the message that we want to convey to everybody. So what are we about then? Um, if you've been watching us for a while, you'll know that we are about taking responsibility for unfair situations. And what I mean by that is there are some things in life and in running a business that are unfair and you feel like are not your fault, but it's having the ability to use that to your advantage where everybody else sees loss and view it as opportunity. And all of that is really wrapped up in the growth mindset message. So you might be asking yourself, you guys run a woodworking business. Why is that your message on YouTube? Well, if you look at every leader of just about every industry, they're all preaching the same message. They're saying, take responsibility for things that might not be your fault and turn it into a good thing. See opportunity where other people are freaking out and seeing loss. That is the formula for building a business, having a fulfilling life for accomplishing your goals. You have to be willing to run towards your fears instead of trying to hide from them. So yeah, we're, we're showing you how we're running our furniture business and how we're starting that and documenting all those. And we'll share plenty of tips in the future on how we're figuring out the best way to do that. But the real core of the formula for success is to adopt a growth mindset. So our message right now is to just tell people to get moving and grow. It's gonna be sloppy, it's gonna be ugly, it's gonna be terrible when you first start out, but you gotta embrace that and keep running towards it because you're gonna get better slowly over time. So that's everything that we wanna convey in how our studio is decorated. I know it's a lot, but we gotta figure out a way to pull it off. Okay, so while I wish I could use all four walls in this room to convey the concept of growth mindset to the viewers, I can't do that. I have one wall. It's gonna be a picture collage if you guys have seen those on like in Instagram, Pinterest, wherever. Basically we've got eight frames to explain what we're all about to people. We don't know what's gonna go in them yet, but we've got eight of them, so that's a start, I guess. So we're gonna start designing. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, so I'm not even halfway through the setup process and I'm already impressed. Like, it's insane the amount of care and packaging that went into this. Yeah, I know this is an expensive product, but man, it's, it's already assembled. Wow, wow, wow. It seems like all I'm gonna have to do is install this little printer head, which is, that's pretty much it. I just, I'm blown away. And the instructions are stupid clear. I mean, a, a chimpanzee could follow the instructions. It's got clear pictures, very outlined. It tells you what packaging products to keep, which ones to throw away in case you need to send it back under one. It's, it's just everything that I wanted the X-Carve to be. Uh, really excited to get this thing going. They even tell you the direction to pull the tape off. That way you don't tear anything or pull anything in a direction it's not supposed to go. That is clarity. Going to be using it for is engraving a lot of our closing gifts like our charcuterie boards our cutting boards things like that um, because it works really well for that we absolutely love it it's perfect for those simple engravings and is way better than the cnc was so what the glowforge is going to help us do today is make our signs and one of the really cool things it can do is cut acrylic so we're going to use it to do that and make some cool looking signs Two hours later. So, after all that, we've literally confirmed like one sign. We know what we're doing for one frame, and that's pretty much it. We've got ideas for others. I don't know if we have too many ideas, if we, we just can't choose one. The problem is that we're trying to shove a really big abstract concept into eight picture frames. It can be done. We're you know, you walk into any restaurant and you can look at things on the wall and you get the vibe of the place and the feel and... Ironically enough, the problem here is that we are trying to do too much too soon in one bite. Story of our lives. <laughs> as much as we just talked at the beginning of today's video about growth mindset and everything else, we totally dorked it up. It's not gonna be perfect this first time around. We're gonna change stuff. We can't in good conscience tell people to adopt a growth mindset when we show that everything is perfect. Yeah, or- I mean, look at it, come here. When we first came here yesterday, this sound panel was on the floor. That sound panel was on the floor. There are spiders in every corner of this stupid house. Everything was falling apart in this studio and we were kind of frustrated about it. We can't sit here and hide the fact that this is our first studio. Like right now, you hear the air conditioner out that window. It's it's literally right outside that window. Like of all places, we chose the air conditioner. It's room. not gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to make it perfect. We're trying to communicate the growth mindset by completely violating it. So, it's like we wanna skip the step that you just can't do that. So we gotta respect the levels that we're on and we have to just slowly improve the studio over time. So what we decided to do is we've got a couple of good sign ideas. So instead of making it all perfect on the first go round, we're just gonna put some crap in some picture frames, put it on the wall and call it good enough for now. We're just gonna do the best with what we've got. And go have fun with our new Glowforge, so. We'll see you in a bit.
this is it. It's not perfect. No. Progress always writes a better story than perfection. Nobody wants to see somebody pull something off perfectly. That's so boring. But <laughs> we think it looks good enough. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. The signs turned out really well. The accuracy of the glow forge is just amazing. We just hope that whatever it is that you're trying to do, you understand that it's gonna be terrible when you first start. Yeah. And just like woodworking, like, you're gonna have to put the time in and the effort in to get better and you will get better. So if you're starting a woodworking business like us and you want to sell some of the stuff that you build, um, just understand you're going to suck at the beginning and that's not a bad thing. Um, just focus on trying to not make the same mistake twice yeah. and it really digest your mistakes and try to learn from them. Um, you can sit there and read every book in the world, but nothing is going to give you more experience than experience. Anyway, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, yes. If you thought this video was useful, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Most of you, most of you are watching our videos. There's something like 80% of all of our if viewers. If you're not subscribed. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> hit the subscribe button. You're going to watch our videos anyway. You might as well help us out of the process. Yeah. We are going to continue on with our to-do list because we have limited time here this weekend. Yes. Um, yeah. Good luck with whatever you're doing.